When I went into the Pixar studios, like angels started singing. We love your voice, we please be May. I'm half crying, half confused. I froze and I was like, what, huh? I can't believe I booked this wrong. Hello everyone, I'm Rosalie Chang and this is how I got the role of Mei Lin Lee in Disney and Pixar's Turning Red. I first discovered I wanted to be an actor just by watching Disney Channel. I told my mom, who doesn't watch TV or movies at all, I want to be on TV. She just said, oh, okay, I'll just print out a picture of you and then you can tape it on the TV. Aw, no, not that. And eventually my mom told my dad, he's like, oh, she wants to do acting. She wants to be an actor. My mom just decided, oh, just Google some acting classes because we didn't know anyone who's in the business. My mom just was searching up classes and found this voiceover coach and was like, you want to try it? And I said, okay, he's the best just acting teacher in general I ever had. My audition process for this film was it's a little unconventional. First, my agent just sent me an audition. It was just a regular old audition. I went in for the callback, and the callback took place at the exact location of the Pixar Animation Studios. That's when it really hit me. Oh, this is Pixar. And then I get an email a few days later saying, congratulations, you booked it for scratch recording. I was kind of half crying, half confused. So I didn't know what scratch recording was. They just needed a temporary voice to animate off of. I realized that, you know what? For these scratch recordings, I'm just gonna do my best. When I was around 14 or 15, and that's when Domi goes into this long monologue. We love your voice, we please be May. I was so shocked. And it was only until a week later from booking it, I just start sobbing at my chair while I'm doing my homework. And my mom's like, what's wrong? And I said, I can't believe I booked this role. I'm so happy. Since I started when I was 12 and the last recording session was on my 16th birthday, I was going through this weird coming of age phase as May is in the movie. I definitely took experiences from my life because it's something I go through every freaking day besides the red panda. <laughs> My favorite scenes to record is definitely any scene involving Devin. When she's drawing the fan art of Devin or when her mom takes them to the Daisy Mart to confront Devin. One of my favorite lines is when she's drawing Devin and she's like, he's not that hot. So his arms are kind of nice. Working with Domi as a director in Pixar, we have very similar backstories in that she wants to be an animator, I want to be an actor. I told Domi, well, look, you're here directing a movie. Look at where you are now. And then she goes, look at where you are now. And then I said, look at where we are now. I would have quit acting if it wasn't for this role. And it's sort of given me this encouragement to go on and say, keep on going, don't give up, you can do this. It's a coming of age story from an Asian girl's perspective, which is something you don't see very often, especially in mainstream media. To other middle schoolers, I'd say, it's okay. You're not a freak. You're not weird. Everyone goes through it. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed hearing the behind the scenes of how I brought Malin Lee to life.